Hey guys, how are you? So somebody in my mentoring program asked me a question. So he says, I've done the HTML and CSS and JavaScript PHP courses in Studio Web and one project, the login system project. He says, I want to start the next phase of building a website, his demo website, his promotional website for himself, uh, then doing one or two small projects before I start freelancing. So he has a couple questions. Number one, for building my site, should I use WordPress or write the code myself? Basically build an HTML5 vanilla website, or well, HTML5 and CSS3, of course. Uh, pay for web hosting and then use cPanel to upload the files, et cetera, to the site. So when you want to get into freelancing, what I teach people to do is to get up a, a site, your own site, your, your calling card, if you will, is your online resume, if you will. That site has to look good. The site has to uh, be well laid out because if you're freelancing, if, even if your goal is to do back-end development, you still have to have a good-looking site. So I would use WordPress only if, A, you want to start developing WordPress sites, and B, you plan on adding content to your personal site on a regular basis. Otherwise, I would just do it in plain old HTML. If you're just putting together a four or five page uh, resume site, if you will, uh, then I would just do it HTML5 and CSS3. That's all you need to do. Question number two, when doing free projects, would I charge the client for the cost of a domain and web hosting? Yes, they would pay for that because that's their site. What you're giving away for free is all the skills and the execution. Basically, you're building it for them. So with regards to the domain and web hosting, what you would do is, number one, partner with a web hosting company and they'll do it for you, no problem. Why would you want to partner? Because then you would help your client pick a domain name and then you would have them go to that registrar hosting company so they can buy their domain, buy their basic hosting, and you would have them pay because you don't want to have to chase after them to collect for the domain hosting. It's their site after all, right? Um, but what's cool is you can set yourself up as an affiliate and then you can make money when your client buys domain, a domain name and hosting from the, uh, the hosting company. Most hosting companies, by the, way, by the way, will offer domain names and hosting and they'll offer a kickback to you if you uh, refer clients to them. They get a code, etc. cetera. Uh, so as I would be incurring cost to build a website, yeah, so to be free, let me back up. In the mentoring program, once people learn their fundamentals, I have them A, build a, a website, their home on the web, if you will, something that they can show prospective clients and to profile their skills and projects they've done. And number two, I have them go out there, do two to three small free freelance projects so that they can get their hands dirty with real code. Your goal is to make money as a coder. And so you have to show some skill, uh, some execution rather. You have to show people that you can work with other people and build something, even simple sites. So for sure, you won't, you don't want them, you don't want to be paying for their domain name. That makes no sense. And you don't want to pay for their hosting. They pay for it using their credit card. So you would set it up, you would send them to the page where to pay, and you say, just pay for it. And it's, here's the prices and um, use this code so you get a little discount, which is your kickback. As the, and um, that's it. And then they give you access to uh, their site and away you go. Most hosting these days, basic hosting is all you need, uh, uh, shared hosting. For 99% of websites, shared hosting is fine. And uh, they all have like control panels like Plesk or cPanel, which makes it really easy to move files back and forth. Let me end with this. I think a lot of people, they think that they have to get into very advanced VPS and, uh, and very advanced protocols, if you will, for site development. When you're a beginner, especially when you work on small projects, you don't need any of that. Good old fashioned cPanel and Plask and, uh, and F even FTP uh, is more than sufficient for, I say, the vast majority of projects. When you're starting to get into something more serious, yes, then you have to go into virtualization, more advanced things. But for uh, most people, it's not necessary at this time. 
We'll talk soon.